What's good everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews back again with another video. Today I'm gonna switch it up just a little bit. You feel me? Just a little bit. I'm gonna be back with the beer videos, man. Don't even worry, that's coming. So if you guys do not want to see this video that is not related to beards or grooming or anything like that, I'll see y'all next week or see y'all when I see y'all. Y'all can hit the thumbs down button or keep it pushing. I don't care. Anyways, I'm just trying to make this fun for me. Um Long story short, today's video is going to be about this backpack. Reason being, I've been wearing it a lot lately, and I've been getting a lot of compliments on it. And then I realized, hey, I actually did a review on this same backpack three years ago. By the way, this is not a paid review. This is not a paid sponsorship. It wasn't paid. It's not advertised or whatever the word I'm trying to say. It's not sponsored today, and it was not sponsored back then when I bought it. Also, today we are talking about fashion that is not very fashionable, or I should say fashion that you make fashionable that may not be fashionable to anyone else. Check this out. First things first, this as an example. Look at what I'm wearing today. I got the 13s on, right? But I got the jean shorts on too. Now, I don't know where you guys are from, but where I'm from, if you wear jean shorts still in 2018, you're dusty, right? So guess what, guys? I'm dusty. I, I just got to admit it, guys. I'm dusty. Another thing, I've been seeing so many posts going around saying, Nobody was wearing Champion when it was sold in Walmart and whoop de whoop all this stuff like that, right? Well, check out this picture when your boy was first growing the same beard in right now. And what was the sweater I was wearing? Okay, then. And I got a few more, too. Uh, but anyways, I really like to stay away from trends. Pause real quick. Not a pause like that, but pause. Because I know having a beard is a trend. Um, but... I've been actually growing a beard. I've had a beard before. Cut the whole thing off and started over and all that stuff like that, right? Before the, the women was like, oh, my man got to have a beard and all this stuff like that. So back to the subject. I really like to stay away from most trends um, such as, you know, the, the skinny jeans, the, uh, the, the vans and uh, most other things that people find trendy that's hot right now. That's probably going to switch up later. I really try to stay away from them. back in high school when the van, when the pack made the song Vans and everybody was just on the vans. Now, vans, is, they're kind of cool, but I just didn't want to blend in with everybody else. So I was still wearing the stuff I was wearing. An example. High school, after school, there was like two or three college girls walking across my campus. Right now, what was they doing on the high school campus when they was in college? I, I don't know. Anyways, two or three of them. Super, super, super good looking. Right. They see me check this out. They was like, "Oh, look! Look at him right here. He got the scrunchy socks, which was a a, a trend kind of like that." They said, "Oh, look at him. He got the scrunchy socks. He got the Vans on. He looking fly. Whoop de whoop, right?" They get closer to me and say, "Oh, those ain't Vans." Ha ha ha! They start laughing at me and they kept it pushing. In my mind, I'm like, "Man, fuck y'all, right?" I ain't have no response to it. I I just got got laughed at or whatever by some two three fine girls, right? Little did they know, and also little did I know, the shoes that I was wearing happened to be some Ralph Lauren's, which later on became to be some very popular shoes, uh, popular shoes after, I don't know, Young Dro made a song about it. Or Kanye West was on a radio show saying, you know, it ain't Ralph though, it ain't Ralph. You ain't got the answer, Sway. Kanye. I've been doing this more than you. But I spent hundreds of thousands and doing putting out clothing lines at a smaller degree. All I'm asking you, I'm, and then, but, and but, it but, ain't but, no Ralph though. Uh, it, it ain't, ain't Ralph but, but, level. But let me ask you this: I'm asking you, what's the you, name of your clothing line? We don't know. You know, just pumping it up even that much more. Um, anyways, all this to say that uh, this backpack I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like the craziest transition ever anyways this backpack i'm wearing is from olympia right now you guys probably never heard of olympia before i honestly never heard of it before i bought this bag but i've been getting so many compliments on it i just felt like you know i might as well show you guys especially since i did a review on it like exactly like three years ago so might as well show you guys on this channel again this is not sponsored um this video is going to be old but it still applies to the same backpack and if you guys are interested in buying this bag the link will be in the description um and i'm just going to be doing more little videos like this um i don't be clickbaiting y'all in the title or nothing like that so if you see a title you do not want to see don't click on it don't watch it don't comment you ain't got to do nothing ain't nobody forcing you to be around but again i'm just trying to make this fun for me hopefully you guys stick around if not I'm going to keep doing it either way. Um, another thing. Do you guys let the clothes make you? Or do you make the clothes that you wear cool and fashionable? Check this out. I used to be one of those people where 
my see my, my mom goes to the thrift store all the time like my mom my sister and stuff like that they would go to the thrift store i would say oh no no way in hell was you gonna catch me in the thrift store this was back then right like then i finally just gave it a shot i'd be in there all the time like i don't get all my stuff from there but check these out these ain't the most flyest shoes right here, right? But I've always wanted these. These are some Nike uh, Roshi runs right here. Retail in the store for like 75, 80 bucks, right? I got these in a the thrift store. I still got the tag in there. Y'all ain't going to be able to see the tag, but maybe y'all can see it. $18, y'all. $18 at the thrift store. Along with some other uh, jackets and stuff that I've gotten, things like that. Man, I'll be rocking this bag before I got this other one. This is my, my travel bag. This is my what somebody considered my uh my hoe bag. I don't know why they called it a hoe bag, but anyways, this is a, a I won't say it's no brand, but the brand for this is ES, aka no brand because y'all never heard of it. Um, anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video. If you guys want to check out this backpack again, I'm actually gonna add the clip to that video I made um, at the end of this video, and you guys can check that out right. Now, hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy named Matthews, and today I'm gonna review two different backpacks for you guys. One is this one right here, the other is this. Bam, both look the same, offer just a little bit different features. Um, first one I'm gonna get into is this one right here. So, this is the Olympia Hopkins backpack in the wine colorway. Um, they do feature the magnetic straps here. You know, it looks like it has a buckle and everything like that. You can um, actually clamp these down and change it. It's got a nice leather feel. I don't know if it's real or fake, but it feels good, so it might be real. I don't know. They got the magnetic straps here. Go ahead and open these. Two more straps right down here at the bottom. Also magnetic. And pop these open. It's got a little mesh pocket inside of there. There's a big slot right here in the front. Also something in the back and also the pocket in the middle. So it is a lot of space in the front of this backpack here on the side. Another magnetic strap. This is space you can put your phone, MP3 player, anything like that. Bam. It's large enough to put a phone in. This is the One Plus One. Um, same size as the iPhone 6 uh, or 6 Plus, whichever one. It's 5.5 inch display. So we're going to go ahead and slide this in here. Bam. It's enough room with some space to spare. My phone actually goes, stops like right down here. So it's plenty of room for a phone or MP3 player, anything like that. So right on this side, we have another pocket, same size. It has a drawstring at the top of the bag. So right here on the inside of this backpack, there's a space in there for a laptop and the rest is just for whatever you're packing, your books or anything like that. By the way, here's a side view of this thing so you can kind of get a idea of how wide this thing is. There's also another pocket here. Going in there, even though it's upside down. Well, probably some room left over. So I do like the features that this backpack um, has on it. Nice soft padding right here at the bottom and on the sides for your shoulders. There's another little zipper on the inside of this backpack with a spot to put your pencils and different things like that. I do like the way this bag looks. I just wish this was different material as well on the inside of the bag because this part right here if you tie this thing too tight or something like that and this part rips you'll have no way of closing the bag uh completely one thing i forgot to mention about the olympia hopkins backpack is it does have another slot right here in the back um i guess it's like a quick access compartment you can unzip the bag and you can actually get access into the entire bag from the side of it so if you want to do a little side packing or something like that guess that's great as well so as you can see going in through the top bam it's pretty cool to me all right so the first bag we're going to pack right here is the olympia hopkins it's got the velcro strap for the laptop compartment bam slides in real quick real easy no problems so now that we got the laptop in there let's go ahead and put the clothes in pants and shirt Sweatpants, shirt, socks, underwear, going in. Let's see if we can get this one more in. Boxers, t-shirt, pajama pants. Bam. Slide this close. One bag all packed up. Four outfits and a laptop. And this is what the Olympia Hopkins backpack looks like when it's fully packed. I like them both. I really don't know which one I'm gonna wanna go with. 
you guys found this video helpful in any way, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys next time.